Mobile phones have come a long way, but their biggest upgrade has just begun. It's faster and it allows for greater bandwidth. That has all sorts of implications. Yes, it'll be amazing and it will change how people use their phones. The network connecting your mobile to the internet is being ramped up like never before. Join the future. Three's building the UK's fastest 5G network. So what difference will 5G make to your smartphone? In real terms, that means things will be much faster on your phone. For example, now, when you're sitting trying to watch a movie on your phone, or even just a video clip, there's a bit of a gap between you hitting play and it starting. And then when it's playing, it'll buffer and you'll have to wait sometimes, particularly if you're on a slow connection or if there are lots of other people around you. 5G means that there will be almost no gap at all between those two things happening. At the moment, we're all doing a lot of fitness videos online. We're seeing choirs singing online. And certainly musicians are saying, oh, it's quite difficult to synchronize our singing and our instruments with lots of people. I think 5G will help eliminate that problem. It'll be much easier to do that kind of online collaboration. If you're a social media maven and you're uploading a lot of videos to YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, is that instead of it taking a while to upload and process, that should happen much more quickly. So it means we'll be able to report on things much more instantly than we do at the moment. In theory, you can get two or three even uh, gigabits of connection. In practice, certainly I found with 5G handsets, and I live in a 5G area here in West London, I've been able to get 600 megabits per second fairly comfortably outside with maybe 250 megabits inside. In real terms, that means things will be much faster on your phone. It means you'll be able to download a film in seconds rather than minutes. 5G is the next generation of communications. It's not just about faster phones, uh, but it's also about allowing more connections. So smart agriculture, smart industry, remote healthcare, We've learned a lot about remote healthcare in the past few months, of course, but things like being able to have steadier connections with shorter latency, that's going to be really helpful for helping people stay healthy without having to actually go to hospitals or doctor surgery. I think we're some way off 5G absolutely replacing 4G, not least because there are still some parts of the country where you can barely get a decent 3G connection. So there's a lot of work to do on making sure that everywhere's properly connected. Hit subscribe for more videos like this. From busting the myths on 5G health fears to tackling coronavirus conspiracies. And for more expert advice on this topic, just head to witch.co.uk slash 5G.